Hey guys, Rob Shukraft here with Three Storm Fitness. Today, it's going to be a long video on purpose. Um, I'm going to guide you through a low intensity cardio exercise, cardio workout. I did a video a long time ago, a couple of years ago. Uh, it was just like a 30 minute low intensity video. I got a lot of good feedback from a few people who saw it. So I'm going to do another one. This is like generally how I do my, my low intensity steady state cardio and I'm going to tell you why. Um, number one, because I just have to be different. I'm just one of those guys. Um, no, but it's, it adds a lot of variety. It's not boring. It's kind of fun. It's almost, almost relaxing. Um, two, I'm going to be doing some exercises. Basically what I'm doing is a gigantic complex. In fact, I'm going to improvise this whole thing. I'm just going to wing it. I'm just going to do what I would normally do. I just happen to be filming it. And I'll probably talk through some things. I'm trying to incorporate, so yesterday I did the super heavy upper body day. Tomorrow I'm going to do a super heavy lower body day. This is not meant to exhaust me in any way, shape, or form. I'm going to give some guiding principles in just a second and then I'll start. This is just meant, number one, to build, help kind of build up my aerobic capacity a little bit on a low level. Um, aid in recovery. I'm moving my body in ways that I don't necessarily get to move them through other forms of exercise. So I'm gonna to try to hit all planes of motion, transverse, sagittal, coronal, or, or, or frontal, whatever you wanna call it. I'm trying to hit all different movement patterns. So I'm doing hip hinging, I'm doing squat variations, single leg variations, upper body press, upper body pull, vertical, horizontal, the whole shebang, abigate or core engagement rather. Everything, I'm trying to get that all in, which again, keeps it interesting and again, helps in recovery because I'm doing it at a very low level. <coughs> but it also helps me practice those movements. Just practice the movements. If you're somebody who just squats heavy all the time, deadlifts, the big three, maybe Olympic lifts, or maybe you just, uh, whatever the reason is, you're just, you're just not doing a lot. A lot of different movements, a lot of varieties. This is, a, this is a time you could, you could do that, and it's kind of fun. Yeah, you will sort of look like a freak in the gym, but, you know, look at my pants. All right? <laughs> If you're like me, if you don't have no problem wearing Zumas, um, go for it. Anyways, a uh, couple quick ground rules. Number one, breathe through your nose the whole time. This is going to use. This is going to be like a governor that you're going to use to to judge whether or not you're. This is really low tech and kind of a crude way to judge whether or not you are um, keeping the intensity low enough. If you have to start breathing through your mouth, exhaling, and particularly. That means you're probably blowing out way too much CO2. You're having trouble buffering all the, uh, the lactate. Just breathe through your nose. If you, have, if you have trouble breathing through your mouth, tone it back. Just drop it back a little bit. If any of these movements hurt you, I'm going to probably be doing some overhead stuff. If you have poor sh shoulder mobility, they'll do it. Do, the, do a horizontal approach. Do something different. Have fun. Relax. Just chill out. Um, and secondly, if you have trouble breathing through your nose, if you're one of those people who have a deviated septum or you have bad allergies or whatever the case may be, you can't breathe through your nose on a good day, you should be able to talk. This is called a talk test. You should be able to talk at a pretty reasonable conversational pace. If you, if you find yourself kind of broken up in words, you're, you're in the middle of a conversation or you, or you can't sing, maybe you can't sing to begin with, but if you can't sing, that's another good test. We're gonna, this is nice and easy. This is going nice and easy. Uh, and thirdly, you shouldn't feel any real burn in your muscles, all right? You shouldn't feel that, that, that burn. Um, we're not going for that. That's on a different day. That's on the, for me, that's on yesterday. That's for tomorrow. Today, I'm chilling. Just, just, we're just having fun. By the way, I gotta give a shout out to Cal Dietz. I'm sure he watches all my videos. Cal Dietz, uh, strength coach, kind of got this sort of idea from him. Um, I heard him say one time that he has his linemen, their cardio, they basically, they'll put like 30 to 50% of their one rep max on the bar, and they'll just hit a rep or two on the squad, hit a rep or two on the bench, and they'll just walk around the gym in between reps. I thought, that's brilliant. That's a brilliant way to do it. At least it's, at least it's interesting. It's kind of fun. If you like these videos, I, gotta, I, gotta, I, I do tons of different versions of these workouts, so if you like it, let me know. I'll maybe make another one. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with just kind of a warm-up. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm just going off the cuff here. I'm not, I haven't thought, really thought this through, uh, but whatever. We're going to start doing some hip hinges. And I will bring in the barbell there in a minute. We're going to be spending most of the time in the power rack, 
Again, the hip hinge, I'm kind of flowing in between here. Hip hinge is going to be, let me set my timer also. Hip hinge is just pushing the hips back. Nice soft knees, so you're not actively bending your knees. We'll get there. Okay, we're bowing. I set my bar and keep moving. I'm just kind of jog while I'm doing this. Nice and easy. I set my bar at a squat height and I set it at about a floor press height. If you have a power rack and you have two J hooks or you have two, whatever it is that you're using in your power rack, hook that up. Floor height, or sorry, squat height, uh, floor press height. If you don't have that access to that, no big deal. Just uh, just do the squat height, and you can do the other stuff without the uh, without the J hook. It's just a convenience factor. Okay, it's no, not that it's not a uh, make or break deal. So if you listen to me, I'm able to keep my conversational pace up. I'm more or less breathing through my nose. I got to breathe through my mouth a little bit because I'm talking. So you might see me doing going against a little bit what I'm talking about doing. But yeah, we're just jogging a little bit here. Let's go ahead and start working the shoulders. We're gonna reach back behind our back. Like you're getting handcuffed. This is like a standing blackbird sort of variation. Reach back like you're getting handcuffed. Go as far as you feel comfortable going. Reach all the way up. Back. All the way up. You can kind of keep moving back and forth. If you want to look awesome like I do right now. Just going back and forth nice and easy. We'll do like 10, 15 of these. I rarely count anything. <laughs> Except for like max effort sets. Even then, I still somehow mess that up. Nice and easy, working the shoulders. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and go into a little squat variation. I call these squirt squats. Don't ask me why. But we're going to push the hips back, and we're just going to dip a little bit. It's sort of like a, uh, you can even kind of, uh, I have one of my clients, shout out to Audrey. She actually called these wafting squats, because it looks like you're just wafting your own scent up into your face. <laughs> Sorry, Audrey, didn't mean to embarrass you. This is sort of like a Hindu squat variation, except I'm keeping my heels on the floor. Nice and easy. You should again breathe. You should be able to breathe. Breathe your waft, your scent. Mmm. Zubas, two day old Zubas. For those keeping score at home, I've worn these two days in a row. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and do some cross, cross body jacks. These are step jacks. By the way, if you ever want to do this on an increased intensity, if you want to get like a real, you know, serious high intensity interval training hit hit workout, you can do this. Basically, apply these same concepts. Just go harder with some more weight on the bar. And yes, I promise we will get to the bar here momentarily. With some more weight on the bar, higher reps, get the burn. Basically, do the exact opposite of everything I told you not to do, or everything I told you to do. However, however that's said. Do that and get a little, you know, 45 second minute rest period in between sets. You'll get yourself a killer workout. Okay, let's go ahead and do some big lunges. If you can go down, if lunges aren't, aren't uh, very trying for you, just do a regular reverse lunge. If they're very difficult, if they're more difficult for you, maybe you have knee problems, whatever, or just not in that good of cardiovascular shape, just step back. No big deal. Again. This is meant to be kind of recovery, kind of fun. We'll kind of add a little three-dimensional. We're going to do a little lateral lunge, nice and easy. I'm not going to full depth. Judge me all you want. I don't care. Boom. Boom. Maybe we'll go diagonally, a little step drill. We'll go around the clock. Again, man, I'm just swinging it. This is how I roll. This is my cardio. A little intensity cardio, anyway. I need to do more high intensity cardio. <laughs> That's what jujitsu is for. All right, go around one more time. Just popping, a little bounce. Right now, I'm kind of on the balls of my toes a little bit. Good. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and just kind of work the trunk a little bit. I'm going to pivot. I'm going to step. It's starting to look like a uh, beach body video. Beach body would go out of business if this is what their videos look like. All right, good, work that trunk really, get those hips in line with your side, if you can, as long as your back allows you to. We're gonna go down, we're gonna do a little uh, push-up plus. So you can get down to high plank position, uh, hands underneath your shoulders, 
And all you're doing is just squeezing your shoulder blades together. Squeeze, push the floor away. Squeeze, push the floor away. Just pull the shoulder blades together, push the floor. We'll do a couple more. Good deal. All right, let's get rocking. I'm gonna start off with a uh, squat variation. We'll do a back squat. Nice and easy, I'll do a couple of them. Again, I'm not trying to get a burn going. Whatever depth you feel comfortable with, just kick that butt back. I'm gonna rack it. Gonna drop underneath. I'm usually gonna go with like a upper body, lower body split. Mix it up a little bit. We'll just see how it looks. We're gonna go upper body press, shoulder press. Do a couple of these. Just some of these. Just chilling, relaxing. Back up to school. Whatever that line is. I'm gonna do some, uh, I'm gonna do like a pull up variation. I'm gonna drop down. Still breathing through my nose. This is not meant to gas you for the 50th time. Feels good, baby. Yeah, alright. Let's go ahead and get, put this down like a little zercher. Let's zercher squat it down. How does that sound? <laughs> alright, let's do some push ups. On the bar. Let's be safe. Let's do it from the other side. Good. I'm going to step over the bar. I'm going to do some rack pulls. A deadlift variation, hip hinging. All the hips, man. Good. I'm going to duck underneath the bar. I'm going to hit a floor press. I'm going to go with just a regular conventional grip. Let's do a few of these. Again, you're getting a little bit of practice in the movements. If you're a lifter, the movements that you love. I'm going to rack it. I'm going to do some rows. So with my back on the ground, pull my, bar, my uh, chest up to the bar. I'm using a pronated grip. Use whatever grip you want. This is freestyle, man. Or woman, child. Dog, puppy, cool. Let's get crazy. I'm gonna take the bar off. I'm gonna do some like kind of landmine lunges. I'll do it with the shoulder up, alternating back and forth. This is, we're dancing. This is kind of like this is like how I dance. If I go to like a fish concert, dance for like 30 seconds, like a, or 30 minutes. Doing whatever I want. Don't really care what everybody else is doing. By the way, don't get high before you do this. I ain't used to do it. It's legal. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up. Actually, let's do a couple cleans and I'll clean it up there. A little clean variation. Nice and easy. Wrap it. Good deal. I'm gonna get up underneath it. I'm gonna do a single arm press. Good. Sit down on the other side. If this is too much for you, don't do it. Okay? Front squats. I'll hit it from this side. Let's do front squats. I'll do like the bodybuilding style front squat. Do a few of those. Nice and easy. Drop back down into a pull-up variation. This time I'll do a supinated grip, classic chin-up grip position. Down. Use your legs as much as you want, whatever. Notice I'm still breathing through my nose. So nice. Good. Let's go underneath the bar. I'll put the bar down. You know, let's see here. I'll put the bar down with a regular hip. Classic Olympic front squat. If your wrists are okay, I'll do another one. Then I'll roll it down. Put it into place. Let's go close grip push ups. Good. Let's do some single arm. Some suitcase deadlifts, suitcase rack pulls. 
So hands are back, come up, I'll do two. Square up my hips. Load up those hamstrings. Keep my core tight, even though it's just 45 pounds. If we want to stay safe, we want to practice good technique.
Inhale. Do a couple rows. And lay some windshield wipers. Good, now we're going to hit a bent knee, iron cross. Legs parallel to the floor. We're going to look in the opposite direction. This is really nice for the, uh, some lumbar spine rotation. The transverse plane. <laughs> Good. Help yourself up however you want to do it. I'm going to stand up the base. I'm going to go down the same way. Let's do a couple of those. Why not? It's almost like a Turkish get up without the weight. So I got one leg straight. Those of you who are familiar with Jiu Jitsu or Weekend Warriors, Soldier of Fortune readers, standing up your compact base with your AR-15s and whatnot. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. All right, let's do some uh, one-legged, one-legged. Yeah, one leg. Let's do one leg. We'll do one-legged deadlifts. It's not what I meant to say, but back, nice and easy. Bring it forward. Let's do two on each side. That happens to you. You're not alone. See, this is why I gotta work more of this stuff. I'm a mess. I also can't talk while I do it. I swear, I swear I'm better when I don't talk. Okay. I'm gonna do like a one arm snatch. Good. Bring it down. Switch my hands. Let's do some overhead, uh, overhead shrug. Squeezing the shoulder blades together, punch the ceiling. Now do a couple overhead presses. And a racket. Let's do searcher squats. These are some man makers here. Put this in the crook of your elbows, step out. Go down. Let's open up the hips a little bit more down here. Keep that chest proud. Still breathing nice and easy. Step it up. Rack it. <laughs> I know what we'll do. I saw this on one of those gym fail videos the other day. I don't know what this was. Zerg for position. And we're squeezing the shoulder blades together. It's a little push press. It's like a Zerg or shrug or something. Never seen it. It looks really stupid. But hey, never not until you try it. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some rows in. This time it's three climb rows. Step out a little bit, go back, horizontal. Good. Come up underneath it. Nice. Alright, we're going to bring it down. And let's do single. Arm deadlifts. Maybe I'll do it from this side real quick so I'm talking about. Do three on each side. Seems good. Switch hands. Get a nice center grip. I'm hitting the kettlebell there. Good. By the way, you can do all this with kettlebell, dumbbell. Same basic concepts, just mix it up. We'll step back in here. Uh, let's see here, why don't we do some step ups? Some assisted step ups. Say, let me pull it more if you can. Do five on each side. I think that was five. If you don't have a pull up bar, don't do this. Alright, get back in some push ups. Now we'll do some bent over rows. 10 minutes left, 20 minutes we've been doing this. 
Middle of the rows, pronate grip. Do whatever grip you want.
Oh, never mind. I'm going to give you that. Let's go ahead and do some push ups. Let's do single leg push ups. Hey guys, got cut off there. I think we got a few more minutes. Sorry, I don't know. Um, I think I stopped the single leg push ups, so let's go ahead and do that. I'll try to splice this in so it doesn't break up that fun. We'll do three on each side. Let's do some more uh, suitcase deadlifts. I like doing stuff like this because I like to mix it up. This gives you a good chance to do all the exercises that you kind of like see other people doing, and you're like, why are they doing that? Or exercises, even if you think they're stupid, you're just moving. You're not going to hurt yourself. If you hurt yourself doing this, you've done it wrong. This just gives you a good chance to, to do all this stuff. Let's, uh, hmm. I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to floor press. I'm going to scoop this out. Again, now I'm just getting crazy. I'm going to do some single arm landmine presses. A couple on each side. And I'm just going to start scooting side to side while I do it, underneath the bar. Don't ask me what this is called. It's fun though, huh? Do one more. Good. I'm going to step up. I don't know. Did I land my triggers get up? Let's see. That was probably dumb. I wouldn't do that with weight. Let's go ahead and do a couple curls. Nice and easy. Switch grips. Clean it back up. Good deal. Let's come out to another front squat. Nice, roll that down. Racket. How are we doing on time? That's about 30 minutes. What do you think? What do you guys think? If you like this, let me know. Please subscribe to my videos. Uh, comment in there. Like I said, man, just have fun. Just do, you know, just move. Just move around. Get a nice pace going. I'm glistening. I'm beautiful. Um, yeah, enough said. If you like this kind of thing, let me know and I'll uh, make some more. Alright, you guys have a good time. Bye.